Today we're going to look at the Galax RTX 3060 Ti EX. This is an overclocked um, 3060 Ti and we're going to look at this in a bit of a different way. I think it's kind of weird to take this GPU and pair it with the top of the line CPUs like the i9 or the Ryzen 9 and stuff like that and give you those tests. I think a lot of people are going to be grabbing this and putting this into budget builds or mid-tier builds but you get a lot for the money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into a system with an AMD Ryzen 3100. And we're going to do a budget build with this and just see how it can run in a realistic system that a lot of you might be running yourself. This is BombKeys.com, where I get my Windows serial numbers and a number of other things. You want to hear about some numbers? Use coupon code TS25 and you won't have to deal with that number. It's going to be $14 around that range as well right here ts25 will take money off of that we've got office you got windows 10 pro and home once you place your order you just click on your account up here click on user center and then you'll see my purchases just hit view keys and codes you copy this hit start and type activate and then click on your activation settings and it'll bring up this just click here to change your product key and then paste that right in there and hit next and you are activated and good to go so again head over to bobkeys.com thanks to them for sponsoring use coupon code ts25 and get these OEM style prices. You deserve it. Now to our regularly scheduled program. Let's cover the card first before we get into the, all the benchmarks and everything like that because this is a special card. It's Galax. They're one of my favorite brands in the world and they also are one of the biggest brands in the world. Uh, they're not too huge in America. In Europe you might know them as KFA2 uh, because of some weird issues. I forget what it was but in China they're one of the biggest brands in China also. You know there's more gamers in China than there are human beings in America. Like there's over 300 million people gaming in China and most of them are PC gamers uh, because they don't really do consoles that much over there. So Galax is a huge brand over there and they work very closely with Nvidia. Constantly pushing their technology and trying new things by having these overclocking events uh, where they get feedback from the most extreme overclockers in the world and then they come in and tune things up. This card is extremely overclockable. So I'll say that first. So each fan is uh, precision designed with 11 wings. They always have to have something, but it does provide pretty good static pressure onto your heatsink, which has a lot of fins and it's a thicker card. So it's gonna take up two and a half slots. So if you have another card that's adjacent, most motherboards are smart these days. I to make sure there's not much in the way. They're also 102 millimeters, which is gonna keep the sound down compared to some smaller cards. And we also have a back plate on this that'll provide some rigidity because this is a, a decently large card. The heatsink is larger than the actual PCB itself. As you can see there, the heatsink goes off the back. So, I mean, in theory, we could be seeing some smaller versions of this. Comes in a few different colors. You can get it in pink, white, or black. And this is a metal shroud. No plastic or anything like that. It's a really high quality metal shroud. And both of the fans light up with RGB. And one thing that's interesting is right beside the 8-pin power connector, there's an RGB sync connector that you can hook up to your motherboard. So then you can use your motherboard software um, and just sync up the RGB with your entire system. So that's pretty handy. On the back here, we have three display ports and one HDMI 2.0. And we have this interesting, they call it unique ventilation holes. So we've got this large cutout on the back uh, for your ventilation. A little XOXO pattern back there. Now what this does is it allows more air to come through. Sometimes you'll see like the really small holes and stuff on the back and it's been proven that the larger holes are better at um, helping to dissipate heat and you can even see a few degrees difference in cards that have the full you know, either a blocked grate or a, a finer mesh than these cards that have the bigger holes on the back. We've got 4864 CUDA cores. We got 4864 CUDA cores. The boost clock is 1695. Now I was able to add 300 to that to get it up to 1995 and it worked. So this thing's very overclockable. I'm gonna do my benchmark test, just the stock, but even at the stock, with the way the boost clock works, depending upon the game, it was going up to like 1800 and stuff like that. So it was going beyond the stock boost clock that you see in there. So this is a very overclocked premium card. Memory speed is 14 gigabits per second, and we have eight gigabytes of GDDR6 memory and a 256-bit memory interface. Okay, the dimensions with the uh, bracket are 299 by 139 by 58 millimeters. As far as um, power, you could put this into a system with a 550 watt power supply as long as your CPU doesn't pull too much. Uh, this thing will spike up to about 225 watts and if your CPU pulls uh, under 100 watts and the rest of your system pulls like 100 watts, you're going to be getting close to the top of that 550. So I would recommend going above 550, but I'm going to put this into a system with a 550 watt power supply 
or I did, <laughs> and it didn't do anything. It just works, you know, it didn't like mess up or anything like that. So that's pretty cool. As far as the temperatures go, under full stress, we're staying under 70. I was seeing about 68 degrees in a case. So that's cool. Um, also, I wanna note that I couldn't hear the card. Like once it's in the system, I couldn't actually hear it. It's really quiet. And another thing you'll notice with a lot of the RTX cards is there is, um, there's coil whine. I also didn't hear any coil whine with this card, like not, not even a little bit. I did put it in a, in a case, but I tried the side panel on and off just to like test it out. And I didn't hear any coil whine. So this thing is extremely quiet and it makes me feel like they've gone in and made sure that all those capacitors are not gonna like, like be vibrating and, and whining and stuff like that. So the system that I'm gonna be putting this into has a Biostar B550 motherboard, but that's gonna be the same speed as pretty much any of the AMD Ryzen motherboards of any of the AMD X570, X470, B450. It should be about the same speed as any of those because the main thing that governs the speed uh, in this configuration is just the CPU and the GPU and the RAM. Uh, for the memory, we have 16 gigabytes of memory and that is clocked at 3200 megahertz with the Infinity Fabric locked at 1600. CPU is the AMD Ryzen uh, 3100. I'm just running that at stock with the stock cooling unit on there. Uh, and then we've got a small M.2. What I want to do here is sort of give you something that's indicative of what you might have if you're, gener you know, something's a couple generations old or if you have just like a newer, uh, less expensive CPU because this is going to be throttled in a couple of tests, but you can still get really respectable performance. So let's head over and take a look at Cyberpunk 2077. I'm going to do the DLSS settings to quality for this so you can see how this runs. Extremely playable frame rates in 1080p and also 1440p, you're over 60 FPS. The 1% lows are not that bad. 4K stayed above 30 the entire time. It didn't feel like as good of a, a you know an experience, but at 4K, I'm okay with this with this GPU. And this is about the same, if not a little better, than I than I got with my um, 2080 Ti. So that's that's pretty crazy. Right, let's take a look at Doom Eternal running on Ultra Nightmare with just everything completely maxed out, and it's so playable that it's ridiculous. Even at 4K, um, it's completely silky smooth. Doom Eternal runs great on just about any hardware. And I mean, if you got this GPU and this CPU, you'll be doing just fine. Far Cry 5 is always weird because 1080 and 4K are always so similar. And we see the same thing here, very similar results. But again, extremely playable above 60 FPS at all resolutions and the 1% lows even on the 4K are pretty tight with the uh, the FPS. So the 4% lows even with the 4K are doing pretty good there. So nothing wrong with that. All right, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, uh, maxed that out and used SMA uh, T, it should be SMAA T uh, 2X, I believe. So as you can see there, again, very playable at all resolutions. I would probably prefer to play this at 1440p myself, but extremely playable all the way across the board. All right, so there you see uh, how it runs in that system. I was trying to play some Zelda Breath of the Wild, but that seems to be limited by the CPU because I almost noticed no difference between this um, running with the 3060 Ti and the 1080 Ti. So very similar performance. Also, I need to really build up some shader cache. When you first start playing, games in Simu with the, the emulator, you have to play them for a little while to build up some shader cache. Alternatively, you can go online and download some shader cache from somebody else. So if you see any stutters, that's because the first 20, 30 minutes, it's going to play like that, and then it'll be silky smooth. But it should, I feel like it should be over 60 FPS. And I think this is uh, an area where we're really seeing a limitation imposed by that CPU. So it is what it is. So that's the Glax RTX 3060 Ti EX edition. It's like, Galaxus usually makes like the most premium stuff and check this out. Even the guy's got that crazy bandana on his face. So that's face masks everywhere, <laughs> just everywhere all around the world. I remember if you're in Europe, it's KFA two. I highly recommend this brand just for whatever you're looking for. If you want to get the hall of fame stuff, the big, the big crazy GPUs, you can do that, but they consistently uh, perform well. They consistently break records. But the main thing for me is they really listen to people who are overclocking and say like, hey, listen, we could use a different MOSFET right here. Or we could use a better capacitor. So they're always listening to the community and to the overclockers to see what they can do to improve uh, the stability at the super high end of, of performance because that'll trickle down and give you really nice gameplay and really nice stability just with the regular overclock. 
but you can push this thing, from, you know, a couple hundred megahertz, no problem. The other thing that's really weird is like the 3060 Ti, it almost makes the 3070 irrelevant because it's so similar in performance. It has the same amount of RAM. It's not quite as fast, so you can get a few extra FPS with the 3070, but this with an overclock is gonna be so close in performance to a 3070 that it's kind of ridiculous. And also the price on this, at the time of shooting, it's, you know, pretty good, but it, it always fluctuates up and down. So the link's going to be in the top of the description to show you what the price currently is. But yeah, the price on this is usually pretty ridiculous if you can find one. That's the other thing. Hopefully you'll be able to find one. I'm seeing more of these in stock than some of the crazy big cards, but good luck. Don't buy from scalpers. Just chill and wait. My other little option that I always do is I go on and buy uh, rigs from my buy power because they always have all these deals and then I pull the GPU out <laughs> and then resell the, the rig with a different GPU. So it's kind of ridiculous, but if you need one right now, you can look around at different stores online and try to get one. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Head over to Epic Pants and get yourself one of these shirts. We're out of these. This was a shirt of the month, but also get yourself a gaming mouse while you're there and a keyboard and whatever else. I'll see you in the comments.